Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to England. Sunny England, I will add to that. I am back home after my epic Tokyo adventures. Uh, I've still got a couple of videos from Tokyo to come out, so look out for those. They'll be dropping over the next couple of weeks. And since I've been back, I've had a bit of flu. Um, been quite ill for the last week, but um, I'm glad to say that I can get out now, do some filming, and in this video I find myself down in Burnham-on-Sea with Craig, who hasn't appeared in a vlog for a long time, but he's here today. And uh, basically we're going to do a bit of landscape, uh, landscape photography uh, on the old uh, lighthouse here in Burnham-on-Sea, and I'm also testing out a new vlogging camera. Uh, that I might change to in a few days, and that is the Fujifilm X-H1, who Clifton Cameras have kindly loaned me for the week just to test it out. Uh, I'll get into why I might be changing to this camera uh, over the course of this video, but right now we're going to head down onto the beach and uh, go and scope out this lighthouse. So, yeah, let's crack on. All right, so we are down on the beach right now. Right behind me there is the old lighthouse which we we're going to photograph and yeah like i said in the in the start i'm thinking about changing to this xh1 uh in tokyo or actually for the last couple of months i've been shooting with the canon m50 as my main youtube camera it's a great little camera autofocus is epic works really well the only thing i don't really like about it is the uh, lack of stabilization the digital stabilization in the m50 is just nowhere near up to scratch and uh, I don't always want to be shooting on the gimbal. I do have the Ronin SC but I don't always want to be using it, especially when I make run and gun style videos, uh, travel videos that don't require that much production value. And um, after looking at all my footage from Tokyo and uh, carrying all the gear around Tokyo, which was really the reason why I want to downgrade, or say downgrade, this is an upgrade from the M50, but I want to I want to be able to have a YouTube camera that can do pretty much everything. I mean, there's no perfect camera, as camera conspiracies keep searching for, but at least with the X-H1, it has somewhat decent stabilization. The video is, is better than what I'm used to with the M50, and it takes a, a a decent image. Um, I've always been quite impressed with Fujifilm colors. Uh, that's what they're kind of renowned for. Uh, and sometimes I just want to go out just with one camera, one lens, and be able to make a video and do some photos. So that's what I'm testing out today. How this holds up in a vlog situation and what are the photos like coming out of it. We're almost at the lighthouse now. We're about an hour away from sunset, so we're gonna sc uh, scout out a composition. I don't think there's many compositions to be had of this lighthouse, to be fair, but we should have high tide coming in soon. So we should be able to at least shoot some kind of long exposures, maybe a nice pastel sky, or if there's no color at all, black and white. So yeah, let's see how it goes. While we're waiting for the sun to go down, uh, I think I might get the drone out. It's not windy down here. I'm gonna fly the drone a little bit scout some compositions and uh oh yeah craig where have you been so he hasn't appeared on a vlog since europe which is a couple of months ago let's let's catch up with craig where have you been everywhere not tokyo though that's where you've been it's been the holidays looking after my daughter working that's it done any photography not really <laughs> <laughs> i've lacked i have lacked on my phone i have not on camera but we're back. It's Get fine. some good images today then. Yes, fingers crossed. <laughs>
All right guys, so just flew the drone for a little bit. Um, nothing crazy, just wanted to get it out actually. I haven't flown it since the Lake Bled incident. Uh, but just flew it up and down the beach a few times, circled the lighthouse. Sun is going down, we still don't have any cloud in the sky really. Uh, so it's gonna be a minimalist composition. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm only on a 16 mil prime, so it's a 24 mil equivalent on this body. So I'm gonna have to get fairly close to the lighthouse and probably piss off one of the other photographers here, but such is life. Uh, yeah, gonna take some images with it now and uh, see how they come out. If there's really no color, I might use Acros black and white, but we shall see. So yeah, we're gonna go set up now for this uh, sunset and see what we can capture. All right, I'm on a GoPro at the minute. Uh, just waiting for this tide to come in. The sun is going down, but there's about a million photographers this side of me all shooting with long focal lengths. I'm the only idiot with a wide angle lens, so I can't really, well, I can get in front of them, but I'm not going to yet until that tide's in. I'm gonna get a little bit close. Once the sun goes down, because there is no color, uh, we're gonna get in close, get a long exposure, maybe convert it to black and white, but right now I think they'll be unhappy if I do it, so I'm just gonna hold on for uh, another 10, 20 minutes or so, and then see what happens. But I am borrowing a tripod today off of three-legged thring. Thring, thrung, thrung. Three-legged thing have been kind enough to lend me Brian for the day. So this is a cool little travel tripod. It's a uh, carbon fiber, <clears throat> nice removable center column. This turns into a monopod and using three-legged thing, uh, three-legged, th I can't say this bloody th company, three-legged things, uh, you can see it under there, the bracket, L bracket, uh, which is quite useful. I'm trying this out because I lugged around my Manfrotto 190 Go in Tokyo, averaging about 10 to 20k a day and my back was killing me uh, it's a heavy tripod this weighs next to nothing so if i like it if i get on with it and it goes quite high holds a lot of weight uh, i might switch to this tripod but thank you th i can't even say it three legged thing <laughs> all right i've come down i've actually just come down to the water's edge i should be out of everyone's shot the tide's coming in pretty pretty quickly the colors pretty much dissipating uh, so i'm just hoping that it doesn't come in too quick and I can get kind of a cool long exposure with the tide leading into the lighthouse. I'm trying to work out the photo mode on this camera. It's, um, it's completely different to any other system I've used before, especially with the uh, dials on the top, but figuring out slowly, trying to get some good shots. We've got a nice little boat in the background. It's a shame that I don't have a longer focal length because actually that would be a better shot, personally. Um, it would be, wouldn't it? really cool against the uh, against the skyline but yeah just gonna carry on take a few shots down here once the tides in I might just leave the tripod in the water for a little bit and just get a bit lower try and get a nice minimal shot oh, dog shit. and Craig's just stood in dog shit so that's the latest update <laughs> All right, so I've now switched to a vertical composition, as you can see, just here. Uh, we've got a nice reflection coming in now. Uh, tide's coming in nicely and taking off the ND photo because I'm not, I'm using a, a go, but it's not the best. So it's giving me that little bit of a cross in the top left-hand corner. But um, I'm actually really liking the look of these shots on the back of the camera. I've taken a few bracketed shots just so I can play around in post. I'm actually really enjoying using this camera and this tripod's pretty cool as well. So it's turning out to be a cool little uh, landscape photography day, huh? Tripod board? It's called Brian. Three-legged thing Brian is the tripod. But yeah, we're gonna carry on taking some shots while we've got some color. Tide is very close to us now, so. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see that on there, but basically it's telling me the frame number is full. I have no idea what that means because it's a 64 gig card and there's no way I've filled it up. 
<laughs> I'm missing all of this behind me now. It was going so well, I have no idea what that means. Uh, I've just had a quick look on my phone and it, I need to put another card in. Sod's law, it's the day that I didn't bring my uh, spare card pouch. So I am missing this gorgeous light, which is a, a bit annoying because of this weird, is it a bug, is it an error? Can any Fuji film users let me know in the comments below? Uh, does this occur often? If it does, then I might have to reconsider purchasing this camera, but I've, en I've enjoyed using it so far. I'm just a bit gutted now that the sky is looking incredible. And I can't take any more shots. Yeah, I, I, I guess I won't be able to shoot any more video on it as well. So um, I guess I shall end this little landscape photography video here with the X-H1. Uh, bit of a bittersweet ending to this video. I um, was seriously considering swapping to it. Uh, so I'll have to figure out what that error or thing is. I hope you like the few shots that I did get with it anyway. And uh, I will be returning to normal photography content from now on, um, given some of you did not like the uh, drunk in Tokyo video, but say la vie. Anyway, just wanna say a massive thank you to Clifton Cameras for letting me borrow the X-H1, to Three Legged Thing for letting me borrow this tripod. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We're back in England now. I hope you enjoyed the last few Tokyo vlogs and uh, I've got some awesome content planned. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.